Okay, uh, so I'm actually back here on Plaque Beach, and there's a reason why I am. Uh, there is actually something else I can do now that I have the Drill Bros move, and it's funny that I mentioned Pump Works, because uh, Pump Works is actually where that thing is. And you actually get to do this pretty quickly and immediately, so just in the very first room of Pump Works, uh, go down here, under here, uh, we have a blooper, but... Uh, Remember, we can actually use Bowser to fill up these areas. And, uh, yeah, we actually have some other items in this section. And some other things we can find and do here. Um, I actually forgot all about this. It's honestly kind of an easy thing to forget about, since Pumpworks is, like, one of the first dungeons you do as the Mario Bros. So, I think it's kind of easy to forget that there's something here, but, um... Yeah, you can actually find some extra things to uh, do and interact with in this area. So we're going to just very quickly uh, take care of some of this stuff. Uh, if we get into a fight with enemy, we'll just take care of them really quickly, considering we're way overpowered. In fact, just like watch this. Yeah, we just destroy them all in one hit. So very, very simple. Very, very easy. Really don't need to worry about much of anything. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and hit this block. Get some coins, go down here. We're gonna go under the water. Gonna ignore that guy. And here we have some pipes. I think if we go down some of these, you can find like some goodies of sorts. You have kind of a maze of pipes that you have to go through here. And if we go in this area, we have a big pipe, but we're not going to go down there just yet because we want to actually swim through all this blubber, I guess, or I'm not really sure what you would call these. But you have to be careful. You have to, like, if you get hit by the weird stomach acid or whatever the hell that stuff is, you have to do the whole room again. This kind of reminds me of, like, a room that you'd find in, like, Metroid, where you have to, like, space jump through this room and not get, like, a not fall through the um, uh, crumble blocks, I guess. My mind's just been on Metroid a lot recently because I've been play I, I played Metroid Dread for the first time, and pretty cool game, pretty cool game. Not gonna lie. Uh, so yeah, we got that. I don't think that's the only thing in here though, but we do get some Guardian socks, which is another equip for the Mario Bros. Uh, but yeah, thanks to those who uh, pointed that out in the comments that I did miss this. Uh, I did want to very quickly come back and get it, though, because it does seem very important. Um, I want to see if I can find something else in here, which I think there is something else we can do. So I hope you don't mind me taking a little bit of time here just to look for it. I think I went the green pipe. What about this pipe? Oh, that just heads right there. I'm pretty sure there's, like, another thing we can do, though. Oh, yeah, there... Is there? Okay, now, hold on. Let's, let's go back out. <clears throat> I think if we go through the red pipe... And through here... I think if we keep going this way, we can find something. <clears throat> And again, no worries if you hit an enemy. I mean, again, we can easily take these guys out. I'm not even going to use the <laughs> EXP grinder, because, like, that just seems pointless to do. Yeah, if we go over here, we can find three 1-Up Deluxes. And yeah, that's, that's pretty much all we can find in here. So let's go ahead and get uh, eaten by the... Stomach acid, go all the way back through here to the very beginning. And that's pretty much all we can do in the pump works, but we're not going to be done with the bros just yet. There's one more thing we're going to do, and it has to do with uh, that section that uh, we kind of uncovered with Bowser earlier in this video. So we're going to actually get out of here. 
Okay, trying to ignore these enemies because I don't really want to fight these guys. Uh, but yeah, really at this point in the game, um, we're at the very end. I think we just have like a few final boss fights to get through and then we're done with this game. But um, at this point, if there is like, um, you know, any training you want to do, if you want to raise your level a bit more, this would honestly be the time to do it. So um, the best places to do fights are for maybe for the bros inside the airway or even here in this area too. Some of the enemies here, just be warned that they will be doing like a little more damage because they are Bowser enemies. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, pretty much all I need to say is that we're at the end of the game, so... You know, this would be the ideal time to do grinding if you feel like you need to do grinding. But uh, here we have like a bit of a treasure trove with the Mario Bros that we can now interact with. Not only do we have some cool and awesome items that we can get... We also have some beans, and I believe these will be the last beans of the game. Not these three, there's one more that we'll get in the next room, but... Okay, so I need... Oh, I need to get up there to get that, and all these other things. <clears throat> okay, so let's find a way to get up there. Actually need the uh, water pipe, maybe. Yes, we do. But there it is. I believe that is the last bean spot. I'll verify in just a moment. Let me get the rest of the things here. Okay, nothing to get there. Go to our items and 17A, blah, 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 blah. That's all of them. We have all the beans in Bowser's Inside Story. We've used some of them already, but um, again, we kind of had to to get others, so it's not a problem. Uh, but in regards to those beans, I'm going to go ahead and get these items first, but in regards to those beans, um, I have actually made a decision on how I'm going to use them, and it's a little bit differently than what I initially planned, but it is actually going to make more sense to do it in the fashion that I am now, because uh, initially I was thinking about just splitting them up three ways between Mario, Luigi, and Bowser, but here's the thing, Bowser doesn't actually need any beans. He's very, very powerful, and unlike Bowser, um, or unlike the Mario Bros, Bowser doesn't have anything he can do after the fact. Also, D-Star Wear. Well, uh, uh, hold on, is there anything else I can do? I feel like there's something else I can do in this area. Like, how am I supposed to get to that other section? Oh, up that way. Okay, that's easy. Um, but yeah, like, um... Mario and Luigi will actually have some bosses outside of the main game to do in the uh, Cholesterol Road um, section of the game. Bowser does not. Bowser literally just has the final fight, and that's really about it. So as a result, he doesn't actually need any beans to beat the game. And you know what? To kind of emphasize the fact that Bowser is an absolute badass, and he can destroy things with ease without the help of beans... Let's actually just use them all in the Mario Bros. That way we can split them up evenly, like half and half. And um, Bowser can just chill and just prove that he doesn't need beans to be powerful and awesome. So I think that's ultimately what I'm going to do, though. Um, but let's go ahead and look at the uh, items that we got. We have the D-Star Wear, which, um, you know, we, we already had a piece of that. So it's nothing really that amazing. Uh, but we also have the Guardian Socks. Which Mario already was wearing them too, so... <laughs> kind of interesting how we actually had both of those pieces of equipment already. But those are basically other uh, places where you can get that stuff. So if you wanted to find those without buying them or getting them elsewhere, you can get them there. 
Uh, but let's go ahead and look at our beans now because we have a lot of them to spend. And um, we have an uneven amount of heart beans, so um, I'll give one extra one to Mario, I guess. And then we'll just split up these evenly. So we have 76, that's uh, 38. I'll just go ahead and spend these. We'll give Luigi the others. Luigi's going to actually be over 300 HP. Uh, next we have the special beans. Adds 1.2 SP, so we'll give 35 to Mario. And 35 to Luigi. But yeah, honestly, the bros, I think, need it a lot more than Bowser does. Bowser has a lot of power. He's very strong. He, he, he doesn't need any extra boost. He can destroy anything just on his own. And then, of course, we have the power beans. So we have 54, so we're going to use 20, 27. We're going to use 27 on each. Now, of course, since we're doing this, I feel like the final bosses are going to be a bit of a joke, at least on the Mario Bros. side of things, but... Again, they actually need them, and they'll have stuff to do after the playthrough is over when we do the extra videos, so there, there is a reason for me doing that. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it, so I'm going to actually go ahead and return to Bowser's body. I think I am actually ready to continue on and finish this game. So, uh, before I do that, I do want to just go ahead and say that right now, if I missed anything, if there's any items I missed, whether it's stealables or just a piece of equipment I left laying around somewhere... I am probably not going to go back and get it. Maybe I'll showcase it in like a bonus extra video or something, but uh, as far as I'm concerned, I got everything I need. I don't think I'm going to need anything else for the rest of this game, and even if I did need something else, it'd probably be with the Mario Bros, and uh, again, I'll be focusing on that and leveling up more and stuff of that nature later on, so... I'm just going to go ahead and focus for at least the next few videos. Maybe even just, this might be the only video, actually. This might be the last video. We'll have to see. But I'm just going to go and uh, finish the game. So I hope you guys are ready for that. Bowser is ready. He's uh, turning into a ball. He's jumping in the air. He's breathing his awesome fire. And he's punching like the awesome badass that he is. Let's go ahead and continue on and actually beat this game and save the Mushroom Kingdom yet again. So yeah, I believe you go through here. I mean, this path didn't have anything in it when I went through here the first time, so I imagine this is where we're supposed to go. There he is. The jerk. The jerk that started this mess. Is that a DS that he had? Was he playing Brain Age? Probably not. Uh, okay, no save point. So let's go ahead and just follow him into this room. After we claim the Mushroom Kingdom throne for our own. King Bowser! I am your new ruler. <laughs> okay, let's go. Having just a little bit of fun before we reach the end. I think that's more than fair. Fafali do. Where are you? Dark Star needing you. Dark Power, you hoo! Where to find you? Hey! I have shock at you. You are surviving? Fafal hates you. Pugh. What? You thought your little castle bot would crush me? Who do you think I am, buddy? I'm Bowser, the Koopa King. But I am Lord Fawful. I am ruling the world. Please, try again in about a hundred years, you weird little babbling nerd. I have chortles. You are underestimating Fawful, who has the suction machine for draining the dark power. Fawful only got half the power, but I am thinking it is enough to KO you, the King of Stupid. You have gotten in Fawful's way at each of the turns, just like the red and green mustaches who I hate. Fawful hates your faces. Don't lump me with Mario. But now. 
Fawful says farewell to all your fink rat faces forever. Bowser, meet Fury of Fawful! Okay, so here we go. We are getting ready to fight Fawful. Oh, I forgot to duck. That's kind of cool we get some damage on him right there, though. That's kind of neat. Okay, so let's go ahead and just very quickly uh, go over Fawful and his stats. Uh, Fawful, he has... Or not just Fawful, this is Dark Fawful. Uh, Dark Fawful has 1,736 HP. He gives uh, 7,500 experience points. So very, very, uh, very powerful... F um, EXP grind we'll get here. Um, let's go ahead and just uh, show him the power of Broggy, though, just to kind of get things started. I won't use Broggy for every single attack, because honestly, I don't think we'll need to, but uh, still, just to at least get things started. Give him a blow that he won't forget. Show him the power of Block Dog. God, it's so free to get an excellent on this. He just does a lot of damage, too, and he gets so many lucky opportunities. So how much was that? 500? Okay, that wasn't, like, too much, so he still has a bit to go. Oh! Right, we have to take care of this dumb... Okay, so I was supposed to duck under that and hit the red one. Okay. So I think we have to actually get rid of that headgear. So let's uh, actually do that first. Uh, let me just check one thing. Uh, the vacuum helmets, um, that actually has 1,200 HP. So you know what, let's, I'm going to go ahead and use Bragi again, but just for the uh, helmet this time. But I'll save the next Broggy for Fawful, because he did restore all of that anyway. But yeah, like I said, I am going to do some punches still. I just want to kind of get rid of the annoyance of this fight first. And the helmet does have a lot of defense, it seems like, so... Yeah, I did 300. Oh well. Yeah, so it's going to keep on doing that, unfortunately. Okay. That's kind of a clever attack. I do kind of like the idea of that, although you have to, like, really pay attention and make sure you do the right thing. Also, the helmet's uh, kind of uh, away from Fawful, so let's go ahead and suck this up and have the bros deal with this. Oh, this will actually be good. Um, uh, only 220 HP. I'll go ahead and... No, well, hold on. No, I, I might as well do this. I'll, I'll go ahead and do this, actually. Because we won't get EXP for any of the next fights anyway. Okay, let's go ahead and do um, Falling Star... God, yeah, that did so much damage. <laughs> oh, but we can't use bros items. That's fine. That's fine. You know what? I don't need to use bros items. Do I need to jump on it? Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. But he's like he's low on defense now, so this will definitely hurt as well. Okay, so yeah, his uh, helmet has now been destroyed. So now we can focus on dealing damage to uh, um, Fawful himself. Your rashness, this battle is fraught with danger, sir. Allow us to protect you, sir. The Goomba's Corps has trained for situations like this. Turn us loose and this mangy dog, mangy dog will feel a savage bonking unlike anything he's ever dropped. This cur doesn't merit your attention, sir. Unleash us and we'll take care of everything. You know what? I like... Oh. 
Okay, I, I thought you had to, like... I didn't realize that was, like, actually a command right there. I might actually use some health, uh, just because, uh... I am kind of low right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and use a TNT drumstick here. Okay, so there we go. Really? Oh my god, my timing is off. Okay, well, let's do a punch on him. Oh, yeah! Take that, you jerk. Okay, I'll do another one. Only a great, but still, doing about 100 pun uh, damage per punch is kind of nice. Got a lucky punch in there. You know what? Let's just use punches for the rest of this. Show Bowser's strength here. Okay. Man, he. Oh, wait, no. So, yeah, as you can see, sometimes he'll swap the portals when he gets low, so you gotta be paying attention to that as well. Actually, a pretty cool fight, honestly. Kind of cool that you have to like get rid of his helmet, but then you also need to, uh, you know, you have an inside battle of it as well. The attacks are, I think, are very cool to dodge. A pretty nice fight, kind of easy, but still, it was a fun one. Okay, so Bowser has leveled up again. I believe he is doing speed this time. Four, four, four. There we go. Yeah, give him a little bit of speed. Narg! What the frick? I have Fury. Fury! Pitiful. So you defeated Fawful, huh? What a joke. That guy was too weak to even call an enemy. I wonder if Fawful will behave himself now. Wait, speaking of, Fawful sucked up some of the dark power, right? Yeah, it looked like it. Why? What of it? Ooh, I got a bad feeling about this. Bad why? So both Fawful and the dark Bowser have some dark power within them. So if... If... If dark Bowser inhales what remains of Fawful... The dark power will finally be whole. And if it adds the dark power to the abilities it copied from you... Oh yeah, that'd be bad. He's still too weak to be called my enemy, though. <laughs> if only that were true. There. Oh no, he did it. Oh, 
Fwa ha 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 ha. Awake at last. The dark power is complete. Wait! Crud. What's wrong? You're kidding me. Dark Bowser got Fawful? Yep, sure did. Fake me ate Fawful. That whole bad feeling of yours came true. That means that the Dark Power is now complete. All of your abilities, along with the fully awakened Dark Power, Dark Bowser... This is the absolute worst case scenario, and we have no choice but to fight. Fight Dark Bowser. Hmm. What do I care about some stupid wannabe me? I just want Princess Peach, and maybe that Dark Power. Bowser, uh, I think this is one of those things that you probably don't want, but... You do you, buddy. You do you. Okay, at least we get that TNT drumstick back that I lost. So I believe if we go through here... Wait a minute. No, I don't think this is it. Hey! No more running. Hand over to Princess Peach and that dark power thingy. I have copied all that is you. You are no longer necessary. Hey, where are you running? Come back here, you coward. Oh. Looks like we get to do this again. The chest station. No, go to the chest station. Oh my god, I can't believe we're actually playing Beyblade! No, I'm kidding. You can't escape, Mr. Runs a lot. He's just ahead. The long chase ends here and now. Indeed it does, Bowser. So we have a retry clock, star candy, 100 coins, TNT drumstick. Can we actually, like... Is there any way we can leave? Oh yeah, we can leave. Oh, oh wow, there's actually other rooms here. So yeah, you can fall all the way down. You can find some other goodies too. Okay, yeah, but this is literally just the previous room. And I guess you get the same thing if you go up this way. Oh! Chalk Road! So yeah, if you need to actually leave, you can do that here, so that's nice. Is there anything you want to do before you end this game, you can do that. Okay, guys, um, believe it or not, we are at the very end. This is the last save point of the game. Uh, let's 
a max. I might as well heal with everybody, too. <clears throat> okay, well, let's save our game and do this. Ladies and gentlemen, next time, the finale. Later, folks.